Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Scenes. It is Wednesday and I am back in the studio from a great trip in Puyallup. So uh, if you've never been here before, pop in, say hi, say where you're from. I think I'm actually speaking English today. I took like two days of totally catching up on sleep. I'm not even sure if that even works, but I tried. <laughs> it was a good time though. And I have a lot of photos to share with you and some other fun things today. So uh, let's see. Oh, hey, I see you all already. That didn't take long. Good morning, Judy. Well, it's not really morning, but kind of. Just get my camera set here. Whew, Clovis. So we had a, hi Phyllis, we had, such a cute photo together. I just found it on my phone, so I'll have to share that today. All right, can you guys hear me? If I can just get the little uh, love from you to tell me, I am live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, so you can make comments on either place. All right, so I'm going to just have to bring this photo up. This was a an awesome event. That's all I have to say in Puyallup. And so many of you uh, were there. I was blown away from all over the United States. Well, actually, uh, quite a few from Australia as well. So let me just uh, see what I got going on here. Hold on one sec. There you go. I'm going to share my screen because I have a few favorite photos that you must that you must see. Well, you might have seen some of these, but Probably not all of them. I'll be posting these on social media soon, so you'll be able to see them all. So first of all, this was, see if I can share, there we go. This was the crowd on, I can't remember if this is the second night or the third night when we said, let's have a Wolfpack meet and greet. You guys weren't even messing around. <laughs> In fact, on the third night, I went through just to make sure I thought, you know what? I wonder if I even recognize all these people. And you know what? I did. All of you are from the Wolfpack. I couldn't believe it. So uh, you made me proud, first of all. And Jeff from Kai Scissors thought it was awesome. He thought it was so awesome that he has offered to have me out next year. So you have to give him the love of uh, Kai Scissors. You know, KaiScissors.com. Fashion club members, you have a discount in the club to order scissors, but it was just a great event. A lot of good classes. Believe it or not, I didn't buy anything. It's because I didn't have any time. I did have a little bit of room in my suitcase, and there was a piece of fabric that I was really dying for, but their booth was so busy, so I'm going to email them and see if I can purchase it. It was like, um, like a cable knit sweater. It was really cool. So Karen had taken me over to that booth, but they were so busy the whole time. It was unbelievable. So yeah, this this was crazy, <laughs> but it was great. So let's see, I have a few more to share with you. Let me see if I can bring this over. Hold on one sec. Let me just open my folder. Now, hopefully these are all facing the right way. I downloaded them from my phone and you know how that works. Somebody's gonna be upside down or sideways. That's just the way it goes. All right, hold on a sec. I think you'll recognize some of these people. Someone asked me, do you do you really think it's worth going there? Heck yeah, it, we had so much fun. We just need more time. That's my only complaint. All right, so this is, let's see if I can bring, there you go. Okay, this lovely lady, lady um, I have known her for how many years? How many years have we known each other? All the way from Novi. She would always come to Novi. And for it's so funny to see her out in Washington because it's always like, wait a minute. I know you from Michigan. So people came from uh, literally everywhere. So this is one of my favorites. She came to my fashion show last year. And uh, that was the Friday Night Live, which was a lot of fun. All right. Let's see if I can just scroll through these. Here is a picture from the back of the booth when we were doing the wolf pack. So uh, all, all of you, your hair looks fabulous. <laughs> but someone said, well, how many people are really there? Well, it took up like the whole aisle. So, um, and that was each night we did this. So the first day, uh, there was just a handful of us. Now there's Pam, look, check out Pam's shirt. Love this. I think I have it reversed right now. I should uh, flip it because we took a selfie with that one. Very cool. And 
<laughs> I would have, our knowledge, you say you have to stick something, you would have stuck something in your purse. I almost did. You know what I bought? <laughs> I bought um, some hair cutting scissors. I know, isn't that funny? Because uh, believe it or not, I cut Wynn's hair. So I said, uh, they sell hair cutting scissors at Kai's scissor booth. He sells so many more things than scissors, like the knives, the knives that my sister has. She just loves those. All right, so this is, okay. And then this is an example of one of the classrooms. The classes here are uh, so different than some of the other places that I go to. So some of these were had 200 people in them. Uh, one class uh, maxed at 180, one maxed at 200. I think I had only two classes that were in a room where it maxed out at 90 and those sold out really fast. So for next year, I'll have to be sure whatever classes that I decide to teach or that they decide to take, I'll let you guys know right away because I know quite a few of you wanted to get into the classes, but uh, they were so full. So, oh, there it is. I knew you'd be sideways. Hold on a second. There you go. I think that's right. Hold on a second. There we go. This, one of my favorite photos. <laughs> Oh, Joanne, you used to cut your husband's hair too. Oh, and Rhonda uses the knives. Everybody's using the knives. Julie loves them. She cooks more than I do, of course. Hey, Janice, you finally got your computer hooked up. Yay. <laughs> Very good. Oh, for sure. Okay, and then this is kind of funny. Let me see what order I have this in. Let me just make sure it's rotated right. Okay, so do you see this photo? I posted this on social media and... All of a sudden, the next morning, I'm reading the comments, and you you guys were cracking up over the photo bomber, and I didn't even see it. <laughs> That's what's so funny about it. <laughs> so the next morning, I had to put my glasses on, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, do I have T-shirts for the Wolf Pack for the group for sale? Hey, Liz, you know what? Karina asked if I would do that uh, because some people had asked for that, and I'm working on it. I'm also working on... Uh, a cool mug similar to this with the wolf pack on it. So stay tuned because I didn't realize that you all wouldn't want to do it yourself, but I guess I haven't, I haven't done it yet either. I think some of the coolest things are though, this weekend we had, um, I saw two ladies. Oh my gosh. I cannot, I just lost their names and I know them so well. You're on here like every week. They first people that I see walking out of the hotel and what do they have? Their little purses with the wolf pack. Um, oh, my gosh. I'll think of both of their names at like midnight tonight and I'll call you. <laughs> but so that's first. And then uh, everywhere I went, everyone had the little wolf pack. Karina, you're famous for this like thing that you put together, which is fantastic. Uh, somebody had one on their notebook and then somebody else just showed one on their notebook yesterday. So it's really cool. It's our little signature, right? All right, so let me just bring this back up. So there he is, Darren. He works at Kai Scissors. He works with Jeff. He's got the cutest wife and two little boys. Oh, my gosh. So here's the whole crew that I worked with all week. That's, if you guys haven't met Jeff, that's the man with the Kai Scissors. And uh, this is his daughter, Sarah, which is really cool. Yeah, so this is the whole crew. We had um, a lot of fun. We went to dinner each night and uh, his wife. So there, in case you didn't see Darren, there is his, <laughs> pretty funny. Last year, I had so many boxes that the big joke was they showed all these boxes. I accidentally sent all of my stabilizer there instead of splitting up the order, some here and some there. I had so many boxes that <laughs> the, the big joke with them was, Oh my gosh, we have to clean out some of our warehouse. I go, no, 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 you'll be fine. So this year I didn't do that. But last year, Jeff showed up in so many photos, photo bombing. So I think Darren was trying to beat him out on that, which is really funny. Uh, Kai Scissors comes to Road to California. Oh, well, you have to ask Jeff about that, Francine. Because um, I have not been to Road to California yet. Nope. Is it a good? I've heard it's a really good show, though. And you guys all cut your husband's hair. <gasps> That's great. So uh, I was joking that I use these scissors from Walgreens. And 
Jeff was like, for real? On Wynn's hair? I said, well, it's the back of his hair. He's not going to notice. <laughs> I think I do a good job, but I'm pretty sure that the Kai scissors are going to be much better. In fact, my hairdresser just laughs. She said, you need to get a better pair of scissors. Well, I don't want to use the ones that I'm cutting fabric with, for real. All right, so I got a couple things today. Yesterday, we two things that we're going to do today. So yesterday, we talked about the Move It Foot, and someone asked me, where on the machine do you figure out how to use this? So I'm going to go take you to the machine and do that. And I got a fabulous gift. You guys heard me talking about this, the Laser Bee Studio. Hold on, let me bring this over. And thanks to Kelly and Sharon, this is going to be a giveaway. So I already have my first two things of thread on here. So this is, I'm so excited because as you know, I use my Wooly Poly thread, but I want to keep it organized. So I can't put this back on the big rack behind me because that's for you guys. I just finished restocking it again yesterday. I hope you guys are enjoying the thread. You've really been ordering a lot and the feedback so far has been fantastic. It's for your serger, but Pam showed me that somebody used it for embroidery and it looked great. Just make sure you use an embroidery needle because I used a regular needle, it didn't work out very well. So this is what these inserts look like. Let's see, I put my name, the logo. Sharon, you did a good job on that, I think. And Kelly, called and said they were sending me a couple of things. So this is what I got. Let's see if I can make this. I think you can see this. So this arrived, this is arrived from Amazon. This is the little container they were talking about. I think you can see it pretty good now. And there's some wheels in there that I have to put together. And in here slides out these little containers. And I know he showed you these when he was live here, but I'm just gonna show you again. So this is the container, and then I'm just going to make sure I don't drop this. I'm going to slide one in. I didn't want to set this up until you guys saw this. All right. It slides in like that. So I'm a real big color freak. I'm going to organize all of my threads by color, not by number. Remember, we were trying to decide, should we put the number of the thread on here? And I was like, no, because I want to be able to quickly move from color to color. So here you go. And it just slides right back into here. I'll lift this up so you can see it. There it is. And I'll be able to easily see the colors all the way around. So Kelly said that he would like, him and Sharon would like, to have one as a big giveaway for the wolf pack. So it doesn't include all the thread, of course, but you can start collecting your thread. So I will put this together. I'm gonna call him tomorrow, work out the details, and you'll see the contest link post on Saturday morning. It will probably run for the entire month of March because I've been trying to do one for a whole month because I know some people don't get the newsletter in time and stuff like that. So, all right. And yes, Fashion Sewing Club members, you get um, automatically get one entry and so you get two entries basically. I will automatically enter you into the contest and then you can go enter yourself which will give you two entries. All right. <laughs> Angela, are you making tamales? That sounds kind of good. In fact, um, I wanted to do a full disclosure today that uh, I just finished eating a salad and I don't know if I had a hole in my chin or what but I had almost had to change clothes. <laughs> I must have been really hungry or something like that. Everybody's saying, Pam, I am so glad that you showed me, speaking of woohoo, I'm so glad you showed me the uh, embroidery. That was so cool. Andrew said, no. I said, yes, really, that's with embroidery. So she brought over this uh, really cool, I meant to take a photo of it too, that somebody embroidered with the Wooly Polly, which is great. And... <laughs> Mary, you've cut nine pairs of Kais and four rollers. That's a lot. I talked to Andrew and I said, Andrew, I would really like, because we had talked about doing a Wooly Polly and a Wooly Nylon. And he thought that once I had Wooly Polly, I wouldn't want Wooly Nylon. That is not the case. So I am going to organize 60 different colors of Wooly Nylon. 
So the difference is woolly poly is a little bit thinner than the woolly nylon. And the woolly nylon stretches a little bit more than the woolly poly. So what would be the difference? Why would you need both? Well, when it comes to sportswear, I really like the woolly nylon because it has so much stretch. So I have one of those. Hold on a second. I'll grab it. I'm still unpacking all of my bags. So woolly nylon, which I don't know how well you'll see this, but it look at how much this is stretching. Okay. I'm not making this up. I'm like, that's the thread. And it's very, it's full, very full. Fuzzy would be the word, but fuzzy is not a good word. Do you get what I'm saying? It's thick. You put it in the loopers on the serger and it just gives it that nice, full surging effect. It looks great on sportswear, which you know I'm coming out with in June for the next season of It's So Easy, is all about athleisure wear. And I'm not talking about leisure wear, even though it seems to be the old days are coming back quickly. Okay, and then this is the Wooly Poly. This just stretches a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. And you saw compared to this one that stretches a lot. And the Wooly Poly isn't quite as thick. So I use the Wooly Poly, again, I use it with knits, but I also use it for serging everything. So that is my new serge seam because it just looks nice. It's a little bit more polished. Uh, I like the look of it better than just regular serger thread. Now I use regular serger thread in the needles. So this is just in the loopers again, but that's usually the main part that you see on the serger. So uh, I'm working on the colors and Andrew said that that will probably launch around June. So if you have any preference on colors, I can already think of a few colors on the Wooly Poly that I'm missing. Burgundy, a couple of really good greens. Don't worry, Arnell, I'll get another purple in there for you. I got a whole wall of purple on this one, just for you. <laughs> but um, if there's any special colors that you'd like, let me know. All right, did Andrew ever see the sample in his booth? Oh, you thought I did take a picture, Pam? Okay, let me see. Um, yes, I think Andrew did see the sample. All right, let me look. So here's Pam's shirt, just so you know. I love the blue and the silver, by the way. It looks like it should be on my boat. All right, here's Lindsay. Lindsay made her own jeans. And her jeans looked amazing. And she gave me the biggest compliment. She said that she took my Craftsy class, which is Blueprint now, on sewing jeans a long time ago when it first came out. And she said she goes back to that every single time she makes a pair of jeans. She said she's got the fly down. If she forgets anything, um, she just, so I just love that. And I have to say, there were so many young sewers at this event, which is awesome. There's Rhonda from Schmetz Needles. Y'all know her. And here is a picture of the wolf pack with Rhonda. All right, and... Here's another one. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. And here is one that I posted on Facebook that you might have seen. And here is a, one more. So, so Darren actually, uh, wore his NC State shirt, which I didn't even notice the whole time. Because he he says, well, he's still part of the wolf pack, but he is part of that wolf pack, he said. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. All right. Now, now I'm going to answer the questions. Oh, we got Lynn from the UK joining in. Uh, was that embroidery? Patty wants to know if that was embroidery on her shirt. No, hers was, uh, I think she used a scan and cut. Pam, didn't she use the scan and cut on that one? Now, there were quite a few people that had notebooks and um, on their purses, and those were all embroidered, and those were gorgeous. Lynn wants blues. Emerald and teal green. So Marcy, those are two colors that are top on my list. Emerald and teal green, and then a, a good burgundy. 
Do I use the Wooly Poly on woven fabrics? Yes, Carrie, that is almost, I mean, I use it on knits as well, but really on the woven fabrics is what really makes the difference. So it's not just for where you think of like for sportswear. Great question. And yes, Faylene, oh, what a beautiful name. Uh, Wooly Poly is just for the loopers. Yes, yes. More colors, yes. So Lynn, let me know how, how you like it. All right, I'm just making sure I don't miss anything before I take it to the machine. Hey, Terry. Oh, Janice, pink is just a no, a definite, definite yes on the pink. Uh, the other thing is I didn't have a lot of colors on this one with the different families of navy. So for the woolly nylon, I'm going to focus on colors that I would use for sportswear. So this one has a ton of colors because I can use this on all wovens. Oh, <laughs> Patty. <laughs> We must, uh, our minds are thinking right. I uh, like, I didn't even see you wrote navy, but yes, I need a lot of shades of, of navy because that is one of the main colors that I use. Now, I just got my huge bolt of fabric in of, some of you saw me teaching about this, about athleisure wear. I'll bring it over. Hold on a sec. Wait, Pam says scan and cut. That's what she used. All right, hold on. Keep yourself company for one sec. I'll bring these huge bolts over. Both of these are on the website already, but this is for sportswear. Patterns are not going to be out till June, but I need the fabric so I can work on the pattern. So here, I'll bring it. Hold on. Okay, it's too heavy. <laughs> I can't carry this on my own. <sighs> so this is, those of you that were in my class about athleisure wear, you saw that I was ordering, you have to order 100 yards of this, so that's why it's so heavy. But look at the stretch. It's a four-way stretch. It's going to be great for leggings, jackets, anything like that. It has a good recovery, and I also have something to go with it. Hold on a second. So this is listed on the website, by the way, uh, as it's under athleisure wear. I only have one black, so you can't miss it. Hold on. All right. You think I'm kidding. These are heavy. All right. And this goes with it. Black mesh. I got the black mesh for a few things. One for athletic wear because on your leggings, I like to have mesh like on the back of my knee. I like to have some mesh kind of worked into my jackets, which you'll see all of these. But in the meantime, if you have your own pattern, the fabric is up for sale. I also like mesh for evening wear. So this is a really good quality mesh, and I could use it for both, evening wear or active wear, and this is totally see-through. Anyone need a mosquito net? Oh, don't say that. Wynn will be having me make this for the boat or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to look at your comments, and then I'm going to tell you, show you how to adjust your move-it foot. Uh, will Joe be selling your thread? No, Joe, Karen, Joe has um, all of my stabilizer and my Taylor's clapper, though, but he doesn't sell thread. So, no. But you can order on my website and you, um, let's see, well, it's not too very expensive to ship to Atlanta. And you got the Fashion Sewing Club discount, too. Don't forget about that. Oh, Faylene, you're new to the group. So, where do I go to order? Okay. For those of you that are newbies here, uh, this is, let me find my website. Well, you can go to AngelaWolf.com and click on shop at the top. Or you can go to AngelaWolfPatterns.com and that's where all my patterns and fabric are. Okay, and let's see it. I saw a few more questions. 
<laughs> hey, Lisa, glad you made it. I'm sorry I'm going to miss you this weekend. What fabric name is the black? Okay, let me look it up so I can just show you guys. I actually added over the weekend everything that I showed in my athletic class, athleisure wear class. So let me share my screen. All right, here we go. You can see that okay? How heavy is it? Patty wants to know. All right, so here, if you go to Angela of Patterns, that's where I'm at right here. Uh, you can scroll through here. There's different, you know, things that to click on. But go up here under Fabric, and there's a new section. You see Angela's stash. That was put up a couple weeks ago. Athleisure Wear is where you'll find all of the fabric I'm using for athletic wear. All right? This is the black. It's called Black Matte Nylon Spandex. And I believe the weight on this, you can see I tried to stretch a little bit so you could kind of see. And when you click on these photos, you can make them bigger. See how you can look really close to see like the grain lines and stuff like that. Here is the weight. So it's 82% nylon, 18% spandex. It's 5.9 ounces a yard. That tells you kind of how heavy it is. So that's the one I just showed you. And I think the mesh one, here's the mesh one. And as I get more of these, I'll put them all under athleisure wear. So for those of you that have been uh, not paying attention for a couple of weeks, my next season of It's So Easy, well, first of all, let's go back to the last season of It's So Easy. Season 19 is up in the Fashion Sewing Club to let you guys get the first preview of it before it even hits the TV. So don't forget, go in there. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's there. All of the episodes except for one. Uh, the other one will be up shortly. It just needed a little tweaking. But um, for the next season of It's So Easy, season 20, I'm doing all athleisure wear. So we got pants, jackets, tops, a lot of tips for sewing and serging that. And so here's the mesh. It's black power mesh nylon. And I kind of put some photos in here so you could see what this is. And this one is also 5.9 ounces. 92% nylon and 8% spandex. If you have questions, you can holler on that or just email me, send me a private message, whatever you want. So that's where you go, angelofpatterns.com. And then also for those of you that wanted to, let's see if I can bring this back up. Um, if you go under thread, I don't remember if I put this in the right area, but here is the Wooly Polly. And you can go through and order whatever colors you want. I also, those ones aren't showing up again, dang it. You can go down here and see all the colors. I'll have to put a, another list on there. Oh, and because of your request, I talked to Andrew about offering, uh, there's a great photo, offering um, color cards. Because I always do that with my Guterman thread. So I have color cards for, um, actually for Orophil, for um, Guterman, for different kinds of Guterman, like if it's 100 or whatever. So he said, yes, he will have color cards put together. And as soon as I get them, I'll let you know. Usually, those usually aren't free because it's a full color card with the actual thread. Um, but I'll find out how much he's going to charge for those. But those are the best. I do that on almost everything through the years. If it's a new thread line, or zippers, anything like that, because then you know the exact color. So if you know you're gonna use some of this thread or any brand, it's a good idea to grab that. It changes, you know, if the colors change, but not too often. All right, let's see. I Oh, you want some cool Max. Um, I'll keep that in mind, Sandy, when I'm looking for, because some of this stuff is hard to find, by the way. Is the stretch percentage more than 20%? Uh, only on a couple of those, it is. Perfect weight for leggings. Yep, I agree. And if you want to swatch, all you have to do is email me, um, and I can stick a couple small pieces in the mail to you. What stabilizer is good for knit or modal? 
Oh, Marcy, you know what the stabilizer would be? Uh, which one would be good? Let me just uh, bring this up. Uh, fuse, it's Fusinit that I have on there. I'll bring this up again. Okay. So the stabilizer is under interfacing. Fusinit right here. I think this is the one. Let me just double check. Yeah. The one that says fuse in it. That one's great for lightweight fabrics and I use it for rayon a lot. That comes in 60 inch wide, don't forget. So again, that's one that I order hundreds of yards of. So uh, will your things be in any booths in Lakeland? Patty, um, if Joe is there, he'll have my embroidery stabilizer and my uh, clappers, but I don't know anybody else there that carries my things off the top of my head at least if vogue fabrics is there sometimes they'll bring my patterns but usually they just bring uh fabric uh, mary what would you make with the mesh so with the mesh you know i would actually um add it like you, you've seen me do my color blocking which i love to do um so color blocking on a sleeve, I'd add mesh through here. I would add mesh through my leggings, uh, like those test leggings that will be coming out in June with everything else. It's finally catching up on all these crazy patterns. But that one, in some of the inserts, I would put mesh just for more decoration than anything. But it's also, you know, breathable air. <laughs> I would also use it for evening wear through like uh, the top neck area and sleeves. They would be great on sleeves, especially if you're gonna embroider on them. You know, I can't resist that. Yeah, I agree, Angie. And it was great to meet your husband, by the way. Hi, Marianne. Great to see you. Yes, it is, Liz. It sure is. I'd like to see you put together a sample pack of interfacings and stabilizers. Okay, Janice. Request granted. I will put it on the top of the list because I was actually thinking the same thing because then you'll actually know what everything feels like. Great idea. So who in the wolf pack wants to come over and help cut those up? <laughs> actually, guess who's coming? My nephews are coming over for spring break. So <laughs> I told them that they could come for spring break and Uncle Buck would take them fishing if they would help me stuff patterns. And I, of course, I, I uh, bribed them just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> so they said they're in, but not more than an hour. That's yeah. All right, you guys gave me a list of to do's this week. Do you serge mesh, mesh sleeves or just leave it uh, for sleeves? Um, I love your logo, by the way. So cute by Katie. Very cute. Uh, I use the serger, a three thread. Usually I'll do a three thread uh, overlock, maybe a four thread if it's gonna get a lot of use because of the four threads a little stronger. And woolly nylon will make it like that nice tight. I've also on mesh, I have done um, like a French seam, but mesh has stretch in it. For tool, a French seam works great. On mesh, maybe not so much. So I'd rather just serge it. And it doesn't fray, so you really wouldn't have to use anything. It just it gives it a nice finish. Michelle, have fun at work. Okay, so let me take you to the machine. And I'm going to just, so many of you emailed me yesterday after uh, we were talking about this on the Brothers Sewing News live show. And I was kind of surprised, actually, because you said, where do I go to change the settings for this? So, and then we were also talking about fabric stretching out when you sewed it and things like that. So I want to just go uh, take you over here and show you. Uh, let me just take this down so it doesn't block the screen. Hold on one sec. All right. I'm going to take you to the other camera. I'll be right back. Well, you'll just follow me over there. All right. There you go. You can see just fine. All right. Can you hear me okay? Okay. All right, I see you guys can hear me okay, so I'll keep going. And you can see here fine. 
This is the other side of my office. If you look over there, there's my office where I work during the day. See that over there? That's in the other room. There's great windows in there. I just love it. All right, so let me just bring you right here. When I click on here, hopefully it's not too bright in here. Take this out just a little bit. If you look up here, click on this. It looks like a book. On the first, oh, of course, let me grab my glasses. <laughs> All right, now this is the Luminaire, but check your machine because your machine, if it's one of the brothers, um, even all the way back to the Quattro, you've got uh, this icon right here that gives you the manual and brings you up on the screen. So look on here. So here's one, pre presser foot pressure, or pressure presser foot height and presser foot pressure. You've heard me talk a lot about presser foot pressure. Say that fast, like five times, <laughs> and I'll wait. You guys wanna call in and try to do that? Cause that is like a really hard one. So this is what I always mention that I change to lower or higher depending on if my fabric is stretching out. So for example, I'm stitching a knit. I would actually take this to a, lo a lower amount and I might even raise the presser foot height up or down, depending on what I'm working on. You've heard me talk about automatic fabric sensor. Your machine comes with it automatically off. So if you wanna use it, you gotta turn it on. Okay, so that has nothing to do with this foot right here. So here's the foot. Again, this is up, which means off, and this is down, which means it's working. And how do you control how fast this roller goes? This screen here, I believe, let me see. Yeah, dual feet adjustment. So on here, you have all of these settings into the plus and the negative. So what I would suggest is just try, start with like a, a really low number, stitch and see what happens, and then change it. So you can see the difference on fabrics or on a, a thick piece of fabric, something like that. A quilt, a faux leather is what I use it on a lot. And it's that easy to switch. Just click okay, and then you can start sewing. All right, so I'll meet you back. Okay, so first off, full disclosure, uh, I am a brand ambassador for Brothers, so I forgot to say that legally. I'm a little biased is what I'm trying to say. So, but, <laughs> so, but, yes, that is how you change that foot. So great questions you sent me over the last couple of days. That was uh, also, um, if you don't have one of the fancier machines, hold on, let me see if I have, okay, hold on, I have one more thing for you. I'm not leaving you out uh, in the dark. If you need to change your, your presser foot pressure when you're sewing knits, here is the tension right up here, higher and lower. So look on your machine and see where your knob is. So this is very easy to change, higher or lower, go lower for knits and then they won't stretch out. Okay, uh, can you also explain how to use the walking foot versus the move it foot? So Marty, I, the walking foot, I don't have it here with me right now. I actually only use the move it foot, but the walking foot is different. This one, you can control how the top goes and the walking foot, you can't. So I'll pull that out for the next one. I don't even know if I have one anymore because I only use the move it foot anymore. Joanne was talking about that yesterday. So if you want to go back and watch yesterday's Sewing News Live. And I think, Joanne, I don't know if you're still on here. Don't you have um, a tutorial on the Brother blog about that, the walking foot? I'm going to guess yes. Uh, let's see. Lynn wants to know, when are the Sewing News Live shows? I keep missing them. Um, Okay, so Lynn, you know what? They are listed in the Fashion Sewing Club, but I don't know 
if yesterday's was listed because it was supposed to be the week before. I just couldn't swing it because I was trying to get ready to leave with that storm. So I tried to head out early to get to Puyallup. So it usually is listed in the Fashion and Sewing Club. And usually they are um, the on a Tuesday, usually at noon or two or four. It just depends on if Mr. Domestic jo joins from the West Coast. I try to keep it a little later for him. The next one will be the beginning of next month. And I'll make sure I post it in there. All right, Joanne left a good answer for you all. It covers up my face. Thanks, Joanne. <laughs> uh, I, Peg, you're a lot biased. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, I only promote products that I use anyway, so. All right, let's see, Karina, what do you have? Karina, uh, thanks for staying up till midnight last night for our Fashion Sewing Club live chat. It is for thread tension. Karina, the one on the top is for thread tension. And you make it lower for knits. Did I say did I say something else on that one? For the other machine, it, it's not for the press, presser foot, it's for the thread tension. Thank you for saying that. Yes, I probably didn't clarify that. But you turn it to a lower number for knits. All right, Lynn wants to know, is that a Ponte fabric? So I have a lot of Ponte fabrics over here. I think I have oh, I don't know, maybe 10 colors because I use that for my Ele uh, Evelyn dress all the time. And this stuff is not the same as Ponte. This is workout fabric. Daddy says she always misses them too. So the replays for the Sewing News Live are listed in the Fashion Sewing Club as well, just so you know. And they're also on YouTube now too. Oh, thanks guys for... <laughs> keeping me on track. Don't let anybody get confused because I forget to say something. Thanks, Glenda. <laughs> Thanks, Karina. All right. Well, hey, so we're going to have an awesome giveaway. Kelly, I don't know if you're on here or Sharon. This thing is amazing. I am absolutely, as I trip over my fabric, I am loving these. So let me give you another look. This is what's going to be the giveaway. And I wish... Uh, <laughs> I'm loving this logo on here. I wish uh, I, ha I could put this on all my Taylor's clappers. But by the time I ship them to Kelly to put the laser on there and ship them back, the clappers would be like 50 bucks a piece. And I'm not sure that would go over too well with you guys. But it looks great. These are great inserts. You've seen that they have this for other threads as well. You can go to their Etsy page. Here, I'm just going to... This is a cute card that came with them. So let me put this up so you can see this. And look at how cute this is. Hey, Kelly, you are on here. I got a cute little thank you note. Uh, you guys are awesome. So he has said that this is the big giveaway. So I'm going to talk to him, work out the details of it, and post the contest in the same place I always do. But I will put it out in a newsletter and put it in the Fashion Sewing Club. And I will open this up to anyone, uh, but if you're overseas, you just have to pay shipping. So I'll double check that's okay with Kelly, but I think it probably will be. You need a permanent stamp for your logo. I do, Liz. Well, you know what though? I think I'm, I'm gonna embroider uh, a book cover because I always carry my notebooks around and I love the one I saw yesterday that was green which was really cute. Oh, hey, Deborah. This is the inserts for my thread. You'll have to go back and watch at the beginning. Oh, hey, Lisa. Uh, I missed the live where you said something about $25 gift card in our bag when you go to extravaganza. Um, that is only for um, the Wolfpack. So when you go there or when you signed up, just make sure that they know that you are part that you are part of the wolf pack. That was something special that Karen did just for us. Yeah, which is very cool. 
Okay, Kelly says it's fine. If uh, you, anyone can enter from anywhere. If you're overseas and you win, you just have to pay shipping. And Karina says she'll pay for shipping. One of these days, everyone's going to just pay to have Karina come over here with her husband. What about a decal for brothers sewing machines? That would be very cool. I like that. Angela Wolf Brothers Sewing Machines. Well, we'd have to work on that. Somebody has to put the word out there. <laughs> Deborah says, "Yeah." Oh, I. Oh, wait. I have Wolfpack Leader. This was from. <laughs> here you go, Janet. Oh, wait. This is Wins. I'm using Wins today. Win is the Wolfpack, and then Janet made me. You guys remember when she sent these to me? These are so cute. Oh yeah. Here's the other one. Hold on. I took Wins. And Deborah, since you missed this whole thing, this is what these go in, like this. And I have to put the wheels on it. And then each one comes out like this with a container. And then you open this up, and there's my thread. See how it just sets in there? All right. Today I'm not sewing anyways. Today's cleanup day. Clean up in aisle four. So there's the, uh, I love these. Yeah, they are nice. Very cute. <laughs> we need a GoFundMe account to bring Karina here. I love that. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't put it past you guys. <laughs> As Susan says, me too. Oh, gosh. This is why I love meeting you guys. You give me a good laugh for the day. What is the cabinet for the thread? What is the size of the cabinet? Um, let me see. Oh, Melody, you're on YouTube today. Let me find my measuring tape. Hold on. Let me see if I can bring this out just a little bit. Oops, wrong way. See if I can measure. All right. I'll just bring this down just a little bit for a second, just so you can see. Hopefully I don't lose my video like what usually happens. Hey, Joey. Great to see you, Patty. All right. It is 14 inches by 16 inches. Now I don't have I don't have the wheels on here yet, all right? So it might be a little taller, but without the wheels, 25 inches high. And then these little things are 13 and a half by 12 and a half. What I really like though is I wasn't picturing this, Kelly, when you showed us those. I guess I, I wasn't relating to how this worked. So this opens. And then these can just fit in any spot. We decided not to put the numbers because you there's too many different colors and you're probably not going to have all of them. So now all the thread that I use, I can keep separate. And then I won't accidentally mail you one that's half used. Nah, I wouldn't do that anyways, but you know what I mean. It keeps my stuff organized. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lisa, just mention it. You could even call and let them know and uh, call before you get there. That's fine, too. Uh, Jennifer says, hey, Bernina did a Tula pink machine. I think you should have your own, too. Hey, you know what? I think that would be a lot of fun. I did see that machine, too. Actually, you're on my email list today because I think I sent the wrong uh, – you. You won the lace collection. So Fashion Sewing Club members know that I do random giveaways in there. And you won my lace collection. And I emailed it, but I did not see you emailed back. So I want to make sure I sent it to the right place. You need camo leggings. I like that. Uh, does the thread fit tight enough they could be wall mounted? Hmm. I'm not sure about that, Patty. <laughs> you are hilarious, Marianne. 
<laughs> you know we call Win the CEO because he carries everything out. <laughs> All right, do you guys have any more questions for me? Otherwise, I am going to go back and finish cleaning. You would have thought a bomb dropped in here. But I have the Shirley pattern, 99% finished. So keep your ears open because that will be launching first. Fashion Sewing Club members, go in there and watch. You can watch all of the It's So Easy episodes before uh, they have come out. And then I will start launching them on Saturdays uh, on YouTube. But you get the free preview. And... Um, Patterns will be launching soon. So first, it's the wrap dresses. We've got the Shirley, Maggie, Liz, and Jenny. The Liz is behind me. The, hold on, they're right here. Because I've been doing a photo shoot with them. This is the Jenny, which is a wrap. This is a rayon fabric that I used from Vogue. And this is the Maggie, which I have. It's just, they're all on hangers right now. They don't look very good on a hanger, but that's the Maggie, which is a knit. And all of these are in dresses or tops. Here is another version of the Jenny, which is a wrap, but this one just has a side wrap instead of wrapping all the way around. And this is the Shirley, which is absolutely one of my favorite. I've already worn the gold wrap top. And I think I, did I bring it? Because I wanted to show you how I did my hook and eye. Hold on, I'll go grab it. Because you guys asked me how I was going to do it modesty. All right, so here it is. And this one actually... I, ha I still have a little bit of this fabric if you want some. I actually put it back online. I took it off in case I wanted to make more tops out of it. But how many shiny gold tops should you have? <laughs> is that the question? Should or could? All right. So here is, this is the Shirley, but this is the top version. And I wanted to show you how I did the hook and eye. So on the inside, if this is the top, you can see right here, I added a hook and eye right in the seam. This is one of those flat ones. And then right here, see how this goes? And now once I hook this, I'll hook it and then I'll hold it up. It looks much better on a dress form, but. So now there, when it's on, you can't even see the hook and eye because all of this is tight. But it just gives a little more coverage. I probably won't be wearing it on the live show if I'm moving the camera up and down. That might cause problems, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I see a few more questions, and then I'll... Oh, thanks, Joanne. The Jenny is my favorite, too. The Silk Charmeuse one with the ruffles is really my favorite. Oh, thanks, Kelly. We do, too. Oh, where did I get my cup? This was a gift. Yes. And I absolutely love it. I don't know where she got it, though. In fact, I ordered this silver pen because she wanted a clapper signed with uh, silver. And so I ordered it. It came in yesterday. So uh, her clapper will be signed with silver metallic. Very cool. A request of the day that I had to wait for Amazon. I could have probably just gone to uh, Michael's Crafts, but I didn't have time. Is the Shirley a faux wrap? Yep, it sure is. The Shirley is a full wrap. So here you go. So this is a knit. So this side wraps and attaches into the side seam right here. And then this side wraps and there's no there's no gathering on this side to keep it a little bit slimmer on this side. And then the cool part, though, that makes it different than another faux wrap is that this opens and hangs, a the hem is a little bit uneven at the bottom on purpose. It kind of is a zigzag. And then this side hangs free. You'll see a lot of this next week when it launches. I'll be wearing it. It'll be on the dress forms, all of those.
All right, that sounds great. Kelly says he will be back from, I forgot you were leaving for Austin. They're gonna schedule uh, another show and officially do the Angelo insert and cabinet giveaway. That sounds terrific, Kelly. Uh, the Liz, the Liz is behind me, Pam. And let's see. I need wheels on my dress forms, mannequins. All right. This has a back seam right here underneath the belt. That will allow for uh, more fitting options. It has a, has a belt that just attaches in the side here. And this has long sleeves or short sleeves. You could either have this as a tie or a belt. Here, I'll take your comment down so you can see it. Sorry about that. And then this wraps on the inside. This is all faced. And then this just opens up. And this also is a dress or a shirt. Do you remember seeing me wear this top here? Now that's made out of a Ponte knit. And this is one that I made out of a knit for the holidays. Remember this one? It turned out really cute. All right, let's see what other questions you got on here. Oh, you see it now. It looks lime green. Oh, that's funny. It is, you know, the Shirley's really cute and it is slimming. Melody, it's going to be perfect for the Florida Keys. Yes. Oh, absolutely, Pam. So uh, they sell these on their website, which is, can you see that right here? They sell it on Etsy, laserbeestudio.etsy.com. So if you just contact them, just tell them that you want an insert for uh, Angela Wolf's thread. Yep, and they also do other brands too. Thanks, Angie. All right, guys, we hit our hour, hour of power <laughs> and you made my day for all the good laughs. And it was so wonderful to see all of you last week. I've got a ton more photos. I'm just going to start posting them on Instagram. Don't forget if you post photos to tag me. Uh, sometimes I share them. I always save them and then I can share them around. So, oh, hey, Cindy, glad you made it. <laughs> uh, Kelly said that they will have them posted today. You hear my ring doorbell going off? I am waiting for Amazon, of course. <laughs> it's like a regular trip to my office. Great to see you, Joanne. And again, thanks for being on there yesterday for Sewing News Live. Bye, everyone. Have a good day, and I will be in touch soon. See ya.